What's going on, everybody? Happy Tuesday. Results. Mid-season top three. It's been exciting so far. So let's go over the prizes real quick. Top uh, person first gets to choose their card. Then second and third gets whatever's left. Um, I can tell you first place already chosen there. Second place has an email. And third... You'll get an email from me, or you could just send me an email with your address, and once second picks his, I'll get yours, and everybody gets tracking. Hopefully, everybody gets back to me today, and I get these all mailed out tomorrow to everybody. All right, so three cards, and we'll go over who the winners are. First up, ooh, not used to using the other camera anymore. SGC4, OJ Simpson rookie. We had the... Uh, Triple Threads booklet, Carr and Cooper, comes in a nice big old uh, one-touch. And then this monster, which I don't think I can get all on the camera. Maybe I can. There we go. An NT four-way booklet comes in the $20 case. This has Gurley, Gordon, David Johnson, TJ Yeldon on it. Real sick patches. All right, let me flip screens here without knocking anything over on my table. A little messy here today. All right, here we go. So as you guys can see, this is year to date through last night. Spot one, Joey, CBC, congrats, sir. You already told me you wanted the booklet of Derek Carr, Amari Cooper. Kraken, I don't count. Second place with 79, I should say Joey at 84. Second place, Joe the Mailman, 79 picks. Joe, sent you an email already. You have between the... Squad or whatever you want to call it, NT player booklet or the SGC4 OJ Simpson rookie. Now, here's where it gets tricky. Didn't plan on this because we didn't have to worry about this last year, but we had rules in effect from the beginning. So, three people are tied for third SPF, Triple Seven, Johnny Popsicle, and Dip Daniel, all with 75. Rules were that if any, there were any ties at the end of the week nine or the final week, we would use. That week's tiebreakers to settle this. So, let's take a look at it here. Results. Got to go to week nine. All right, here comes the fun part here. We got to go tiebreakers. There's Dip Daniel. The bottom here. Oh, boy. Hope I can do. Oh, there we go. Just go like this. All right. So, Dip Daniel, a pen go here. We're doing this live, 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 I say. There's my pen. Dip Daniel, 43. We need SPF, and there's SPF. You had 34, sir. This is the tote tiebreaker one score, Baltimore and New Orleans, which was last night. Johnny Popsicle we need. Oh, right there. 47. All right. Using my phone because I don't want to mess the screen up. 27 plus 13 is 40 points. Closest to 40. Dip Daniel. Dip Daniel, you are. Yeah, Dip Daniel, you are in third place according to the rules. So, congrats, sir. Congrats, sir. So, winner again, CVC, he's already picked in first place. Second place, Joe the Mailman. We're waiting on his pick. Email has been sent. And third place, we did this live just so everybody can sort of see it and understand where it came from when the rules were official way back in the day. Third place, we had a triple tie. We had to go to the tiebreaker, which was Monday Night Football from the ending of the last week, or last full week, which was week nine of the contest. Which was 40 points scored. Closest, Dip Daniel. Dip Daniel, congratulations. Send me an email, Dip Daniel, with your address. Name and address onto it, because I will need your name, too. I just can't put Dip Daniel. It would probably get rejected somewhere along the way. But um, And that way, as soon as Joe picks his card out, I'll send you back an email saying, hey, this is the card you'll be receiving in the mail, and I'll give you uh, tracking and everything on to that. That is it. So we will be looking for end of season. We're halfway through. About week 
end of week 16, start of 17. I'll announce the final three P uh, prizes for the end of our top three. Again, if I ever fall in the top three, I don't count. I just play this just to have fun with everybody on to here. Because otherwise, I'm always curious how well I do on this stuff. And man, I'll tell you what, two of these weeks, I should have uh, actually been a betting person because I would have won some money. Garnett, appreciate everybody for uh, participating. And just because it's only mid-season, just go back here. It's really, really close. One bad week and people are knocked out. And this happened last year. We didn't do mid-season, no. But bad weeks would crush. Right now, I mean, like anybody brilliant from the 60s on up should... Like if CBC only gets three right or five right one week, and people down here start pulling up, you know, nines and tens... It's real quick turnaround in this stuff. Trust me, if Joey forgets to uh, make his picks for like Thursday night, something like that, or these guys here with 75 or Joe the mailman mess up a week, it's easy to start moving up. Trust me, still got nine weeks, nine weeks left. I forget what last year's uh, pop was. I want to say it was like 140 because end of the year when guys stop playing and stuff, it, it gets crazy before playoffs. All right, everybody. I'm out. Appreciate it. Uh, see you guys next video.